Welcome back to Tain Slayer Info. We all know that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited delivered the first civil Dornier 228 aircraft under the Udan scheme for deployment in the state of Arunachal Pradesh along with Alliance Air. These Dornier 228 light transport aircraft will be operating to promote the regional connectivity in northeast. In a similar way, there is another aircraft which will be joining the Udan scheme very soon. and the aircraft which i'm talking about here is the sarus mark 2 which is going to be designed and manufactured by national aerospace laboratories based on the different sources it looks like the national aerospace laboratories will very soon commence the manufacturing of the 19 seat light transport aircraft which is sarus mark 2 in next few weeks with plans to roll out the first aircraft by 2024 tentatively as mentioned before The Sarus Mark II aircraft, along with Dornier 228, will help in promoting the regional connectivity under the Udan scheme. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Dornier 228 is an aircraft that has the capability of short takeoff and landing, and it can land and take off from semi-prepared runways as well. And this is very vital requirement for northeast states. The variant which has been provided to Alliance Air is a 17 seater non pressurized Dornier 228 with an AC cabin capable of day and night operations. Similarly, Sarus Mark 2 has been designed to operate in short runways and even this aircraft can operate in hot and high air fields including semi prepared runways. Not sure even if this aircraft would be bought or leased by Alliance Air or any other airline operators, but it is said that The National Aerospace Laboratories is planning to sell almost 140 of them. Even the Indian Air Force has signed up with National Aerospace Laboratories for the purchase of 15 Sarus aircraft and it may need 45 more for coastal surveillance as well as for training the transport flying. So that was a small video to provide an update regarding the commencement of Sarus Mark 2 aircraft production very soon and the orders which National Aerospace Laboratories can expect. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainsley Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.